Hey there friends, I am the PC Goblin and a few months ago I was contacted by iMyPhone and they wanted me to check out the Deport Pro program that they have. And what this program is, is it's a simple program that allows you to back up your iPhone to your computer, but it allows you to be a lot more selective about your backup than iTunes would. The really cool thing about this program is not that it lets you back up your phone or even that it lets you select what you want to back up. The really cool thing about this is it allows you to export your data so you can access it and save it in a format that you can actually read. So like your messages, you can export it out into a PDF or an XML format and then you can break down into it and see your entire conversation. So if there's a conversation with say your grandma that you want to keep forever and ever and ever, you can export that and get just that conversation. Whereas in iTunes, you don't have that kind of option. But this also has a few other capabilities that it has. So let's go ahead and go through that and show you what it looks like. So when you first open up iMyPhone Deport Pro, this is what it looks like. On Windows, it looks slightly different. You've got a little gear here, but they're, other than that, they're identical. They do the exact same thing. They work the exact same way. So if you're on a PC, this is still relevant to you because what you do here is exactly what you're gonna do on a PC. So when you first open it, this is what it shows you. It shows you your phone, how much space you've got used, what you have available. You have three options on the side, backup and export from device, extract data from backup, and restore backup to device. Now with this, you can access your iCloud backups if you want, so you don't have to be pulling off of your computer. But if you click on export data, this is where the real fun is, or at least the fun for me is. So here you can extract just your messages. I can't do that because I don't want you seeing my phone numbers and my conversations. And it's the same thing with the contacts, but this allows you to back up all your contacts so you can see all the info in an easy to use spreadsheet if you don't want to use Apple's methods of doing that. And then it allows you to back up third-party IM apps like WhatsApp, WeChat, Viber, Kick, Skype, and Line. And then it also allows you to back up your photos, your video, your app photos, and app videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at photo. So I'm going to select photo. I'm going to hit next. And this is going to take a couple minutes, so I'm going to speed this up for us. Okay, so now that it's through scanning the data in, it's going to bring up a list that looks a lot like this. And you can go through and just select the pictures you want, you can select them all, and then you can hit export. And that will back it up to your computer and then you can access these pictures anytime you want, very easily. But I'm going to go ahead and go back. Yes, I don't care. And it's going to be the same thing for video, app photo, app video, etc. Now, the last few features is you can export the data from notes, voice memo, bookmarks, calendar and reminder, and safari history. So it gives you a lot of great options to export and pull off your conversations or even your photo or videos off of your iPhone without having to use iTunes and have to do it for everything on your phone. So it's it's very easy, it's very simple, and it's fairly quick to use. Now, if you're gonna do a full backup, so I'm gonna go back. So if you're gonna make a full backup, this is just gonna put it onto your, onto your main drive or wherever the default location is, but that may not be very big if you've got a small bootable SSD that Windows or OS X is running on and then all your data sits on a much bigger hard drive somewhere. Uh, you know as another drive on your computer So if you want to change that you're going to click on preferences or settings the little gear up here if you're on Windows And then you're going to choose the path of your backup files or the path of your exported data and you'll just go and Select where you want it Hit save and then when you choose to do a backup or export your data It's going to put all the data there so you can easily find it and easily access it so let's sum up what I just showed you. I've showed you Deport Pro by iMyPhone, and this program, it's not meant for necessarily the everyday user because iTunes will take care of that. So what's this for? This is for the person that wants to be able to back up individual messages and individual apps from their iPhone, including pictures, videos, and whatever. And on the flip side, it can actually restore those right back to your phone as well without having to restore your whole phone. So if you deleted one of the apps off of your phone, you can then restore all your messages right back to that app 
and continue on like nothing ever happened. Or say you got the new iPhone, like the new iPhone XS, you can put the app on your phone and restore all of the messages and stuff right back to it. Or maybe there's just one photo that you wanna put back on your phone, you can use this to actually restore that right back to your phone. Or with messages, if you need to have, maybe in a legal, legal court case, you need to have printed evidence of text messages that you need to bring to court. Well, this would easily allow you to get those messages, print them off in an easy to read format, an easy format for you to be able to do that. So it's a very powerful little tool that I hope you guys have found helpful. Maybe this will help you in your everyday life. If there's something that you think you'd be helpful for, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you wanna see more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time, guys.